fantastic. It's fabulous. I'm very flattered. It's an incredible show and it's sexy, so it's nice to go out there and feel that way. The last one especially is so stunning. If I ever was lucky enough to be invited to some big event, I'd definitely like to borrow that one. <laughs> Clothes, this they're really like theatrical and paisley colours and I mean they're crazy like angular shaped dresses and um, really frilly there's lots of like ruffles and like pay like you know the makeup is kind of complementing of the clothes I guess. but not, not like, I'm, t I'm 22, so I'm a little older than the other girls here. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I started a little later than other girls, so I sort of started with a, a, a stronger, a, I don't know, this job flies your emotions all over the place, so to be able to deal with those emotions is a little easier being a little older, I think. So I feel for some of the younger girls. What have you done, my brother? I don't know. I don't know. I said, what have you done? Which is sexy and colourful and fun and exciting. It's a beautiful theatrical place that we're doing it in. So, yeah, it's just fun. Run wrong to the one who loved you. There's a couple of girls that I'm really tight with. It's, I mean, it's kind of hard because we're, we're all of us are always travelling. So to make to make really strong connections with girls is really difficult because you don't get a lot of chance to see them all the time. But while we're working, there's there's a few girls that I really love to hang out with. Then you you turn around that straight and you wonder on Monday. Listen, y'all. At the end, oh, nowhere to run. Oh, you're surely gonna pay. But what you done, you better ask yourself, what have you done, my brother? Catherine McNeil is one of my best, and Daisy Lowe, I'm really close with her, and Carly Kloss is like my little sister, and Carmen Padaro is just like hilarious. Like she, just, I love going out and I love going out and having a drink with Carmen. She makes me laugh. for four days I had to do a job so Vogue flew me over for a, to Australia and then I went to Greece for a week with my cousin and also with Catherine McNeil and then we went to um, Budapest in Hungary for a music festival yeah it was amazing it was cool yeah Ziggy yeah, yeah yeah it was incredible really awesome 
I'll take you to the highest mountain. You're opening the show. How excited are you? You never really find out those things until the fitting, so you have a whole night to get nervous. Believe me. Now let my body to the moving. I let my hands to the soothing. Let me show you the world in my eyes. Basically, my heart is like aching to be in Africa. I really want to go to Africa. So, but I'd like to do it right, and I'd like to have a good month to travel around and do like a safari and just see all different parts of Africa. So, I'm kind of waiting for the right time that I have enough time and a good time of year to go. It's hard with our job, so hopefully soon. Do you like animals? Uh, yeah, that's one of the main reasons I want to go. When I was a kid, I used to want to be, used to want to be a vet. So I used to want to be a marine biologist, actually. So, but not now. That's not my dream anymore. But yeah, I love animals. I have a pet lizard at home in New York. What's her name? Her name's Annie. Yeah, she's a blue tongue lizard. Can you take her jobs? Yeah, I can. You can take. You can get these little like carry. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like little carry bags for your lizard, basically. I'd love to be a dolphin. I'm pretty obsessed with underwater, so anything that anything that swims, I think I'd like to be. I've never scuba dived, I'd love to though. I haven't haven't had the chance to do that yet, but hopefully one day I'd love to do that. I've, I've, I've um, snorkeled a few times. There's a, se uh, a section on the east coast of Australia called the Great Barrier Reef, and it's, it's just filled with beautiful um, coral and animals and stuff, but unfortunately the global warming and the way that people are treating the earth these days, it's slowly deteriorating, so um, there's a lot of conservation happening to try and save it, but hopefully it doesn't all go down the drain too soon.
with this job, um, with the connections that you make and um, all the PR work that's involved with my work and also the money that I have the ability to make, I, I would like in the near future to start to start some sort of foundation or charity where I can I can help out the world in some way. I, ha I just haven't yet found what direction I'd want to take that in, so that's something I'd have to think about first. I really like affection, so somebody affectionate, somebody with a really good sense of humour, and I kind of like somebody with a, like a strange tweak, you know, I like kind of kooky people, someone a little bit out of the ordinary. <laughs> outfit that I'm wearing I definitely feel powerful and very strong woman and the, the, the second one is, is is more frilly and girly and so it's a little softer still strong though it's too strong in my mom. It's a really long runway so I guess you get a lot of stage time. 